Howdy, howdy, howdy. Hello, hello, ducks. How's it going? Here, I got three. He's just like just off camera. He's down here. She There's a creature here. You can't see her. It's fine. Hi, it's Unchatter. Uh, we're here to stream. We're here to play a video game. We're here to play Dwarf Fortress. Um, not that that's unusual, though I guess today is unusual in the sense. Oh, and of course, my thing is. This thing's a little finicky. Um, whatever. Hi. Today is very potentially the last for a little bit stream of Dwarf Fortress. Um, I'm. I will never give up on Dwarf Fortress, so don't 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 worry. Um, there's always more Dwarf Fortress in the future, but um, we we know that Adventure Mode is kind of around the corner. Uh, we're expecting Adventure Mode in April, which is about five months from now, from the time of this recording. Um, so I think. In the, in the sake of, for the purposes of keeping things kind of fresh, I guess, um, I'm going to, I'm going to take a short hiatus, I guess, from, from Dwarf Fortress, which is, this isn't even the first time that we would do that. I took a little uh, break from Dwarf Fortress for Armored Core, um, but I don't want to be, I don't want to be burned out on Dwarf Fortress and then have something new come out and go into it kind of burned out. So I think what's going to happen is we're going to, we're going to take a step back from Dwarf Fortress and uh, play some other things and then come back for adventure mode. Um, the, the day adventure mode drops, I'm in. I'm so in. I'm so excited for adventure mode. Um, so I mostly just don't want to be sitting here fiddling with fortress mode, doing the same thing over and over again, pining for adventure mode. I think we're just going to come back when adventure mode comes back. So, um, so this might be, uh, you know, last, last fort for a little bit, a little bit. A little bit, just a little bit. Um, so yeah, that's just that's just the context of this stream. Um, I think, and I and I want to keep with city builders. I love city builders. One of my favorite genres of games. As you as you know, um, oh, I didn't do this thing. Ha! Um, as you know, I I love all sorts, all all genres of video games. I'm really not that picky. Um, action games, RPGs, puzzle games. All, all the things. Um, mostly just not like competitive shooters. That's like that's like the only thing I'm not really into, and even then I'll play them, given this in certain certain circumstances. Um, like you won't see me playing Call of Duty. That's like the main thing you won't, you're not gonna see here. Everything else is kind of fair game. Um, so I, I want <laughs> city builders. I want to keep I want to keep a city builder going. Um, so. Next week, I think what we're going to do is we're going to hop into Timberborn because I bought it on sale uh, last week and I've heard a lot of good things about it and and it sounds good. It sounds it sounds it sounds good. So we're going to we're going to take a look at that one um, and then and then we're, and we'll just come back for adventure mode. But today, as far as today goes, Dwarf Fortress, I'm going to keep with our current fort. Um, and my and, and this is this is number stream number three on this fort, right? This is the one where we, we were trying to embark with no wagon and the literal, literal empty wagon wasn't exactly doable. It might have been doable if we didn't go to like the zombies. The zombies were the problem. <laughs> Probably could have done it in a in a peaceful forest. But what's the fun in that? Um, so instead, we embarked with uh, nothing but five steel axes. And that's the fort we're in right now. Um, the wagon was completely empty except for axes. And we had basically no skills except for axe skill. Um, and now, like, I don't even know how many of our starting seven are even here anymore. We've had so many deaths here. Still a pretty low population fort, um, and that's not for trying. Um, so we're just gonna we're gonna see what we can do here. Get this fort as established as possible. I want to leave this fort saying like, yeah, they could figure this out on their own. We've 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 built this fort from nothing into something like a fort. Um, that's where I want to leave this. So goal, the main goal for day today is to get an anvil. I would love to have an anvil uh, because currently we can't make more metal things like we, we got kind of almost screwed because there was a like we have one pick, right? And I couldn't we couldn't get to it for a while until I figured out how to make the stairs. Which a like I could have done that like immediately. And also it's my fault it got lost in there in the first place. But anyway, anyway, ideally we'd be able to make more stuff. Um, I want to make a second pick. 
How about that? That's our goal for today, us making a second pick. Um, and then from there, I can say like, okay. yeah, we made this fort from nothing and now it's a fort. That's where I'd like to leave this. Um, anyway, that's 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 that, the theme for today. Uh, as always, today's episode. Oh, I didn't do. I need to do this. Hold on. Let me, let me try to do things properly for once. I'm going to connect on my phone. I don't have like an actual stream deck. I just use an app on my phone. And it usually works. Connection timeout. It's probably, do I even have it running? Yes, I do. Oh, but did my... Da, 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 dot 15, dot 15, it should be connected. Okay, whatever. Screw it. Do it the hard way. Today's episode... I'll we'll do it like this. Today's episode is brought to you by Anvils. For obvious reasons. But also by you clicking all those buttons down there and helping me out. Hanging out here. Do it, uh, do, yeah, chatting, liking, following, whatever, whatever's down there, most of them are helpful. So I appreciate it. And then I'm going to shut up about it. And we're going to play a video game. How about that? Uh, let's go over to our gameplay. There we go. Here we are. Gonna continue. We are doing the Plane of Winds. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Some of these were for uh, Wire Stealth. That's right. I was doing some off stream gaming. Um, so you could ignore all those. This one world. This world. This is our world. Our world to inhabit. Loading crimes. <laughs> okay. So what do we got? We got, like, we got some food going. That was our main deal last time, right? We have our power. And we're probably making... Oh, and we're, we're still working on, like, assembling this vertical axle. That's right, because we're way the heck down here. Uh, but we have our, we have our stuff here. And yeah, and then, and we have our friend. Do we have a bunch of work orders? We have a bunch of work orders. We have mechanisms in there. Okay, oh yeah, and we're... We're making plant cloth. That's right. We're gonna have to make sure that that's actually working. Um, but we're, yeah, we have all these farmer's workshops. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'm remembering. Oh, uh, we have food and booze going. Uh, did I give the food, did I give the meal thing a limit? I did on drinks. Okay, so we're looking for 500 drink and then we'll keep making meals. And I think that's where I wanna keep it. Uh, and here, yeah, we're processing rope reed. Anyone? Ooh. They're they're working on it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and unpause. Um, and I think our waterfalls are ready to go. Right? Is that what we're is that what we're doing? Oh, and someone's working on a uh, a strange mood. Cool. Uh oh, and then our our shops. Okay, we're getting our our actual workshops going, and that's why we're gonna need anvils, right? Um, yeah, and then we're we're ro weaving thread into cloth rope read cloth perfect and then in theory we're turning those into bags yeah perfect okay it's working it just works it needs chicory seeds okay uh, but i can just come up here and when we even there's there's more guys potato we're doing whip vine and rope read that's right so the, the whip vine and rope read are gonna go year round and then these should all have like a bunch of different stuff in them yeah cool Armor has created Zazet Bumal, a bitumous cold crown. The flag of watchfulness, is that what we are? Okay. Cool. Um, we're up to 30 people. That is that is quite nice. Uh, what's our labor looking like? We have our one miner, because of course we do. We have a whole bunch of people devoted to chopping. I, I guess that's fine. Um, I, I, I think I mostly did that because I couldn't remember who had the axe skill and who had the axes. Uh, we have two planters. You're a pretty good planter too, though, right? Are you? You're locked to nothing. Hi, Master Planter. Let's get you Let's get you in there. We have three Fisher Dwarves. One of them's High Master. That's fine. Uh, let's... We'll hold off on plant gathering because we have our farm going now. We have a Legendary Stone Cutter. That's cool. And a Legendary Engraver. Holy cow. We'll have to use that. And a Competent Suturer. Neat. Um, is all my stuff working? I think my stuff is working. 
I presume. Uh, okay, so then, so then where does that put us? Uh, obviously a very simple wall up here so far. In our, <laughs> this workshop, and then, okay, so we made... Hey look, a human caravan. We actually have a trade depot, we do. That's good. <laughs> uh, and then... We're way the heck down here. We're below cave one, aren't we? Yeah, our fort... This fort is below cave one. Because of gnarly aquifers, I believe. Um, and then... And then... This is where our... Our water source is gonna come from, right? I didn't actually... I haven't actually mined this out yet. Uh, but that's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Just making sure our waterfall's all good to go. Oh, and I... I cut through there. Yeah, I do want to close that off, don't I? So silly of me. Um, let's do... let's do this. I'm just gonna... we're just gonna wall this off. Uh, okay. And then... we're not actually making blocks, are we? Let's just do... shirt, whatever. Sure. Sure you can use the shirt. And then human, on behalf of Merchant's Guild, yes, yes, yes. Uh, what do we want from humans? I wonder if they'll bring us an anvil. I'm gonna do that just in case our dwarves don't bring them. I think I requested an anvil from the dwarves. But I don't remember. Um, leather, and then, like, meat, right? That's all I've been trading for recently. I don't know what else I care for. Done. Okay. Cool. Um, this is all fine, right? And this is... Yeah, that's those stockpiles. I want them to come... How was I gonna... Yeah, this these stairs. I want them to use these stairs. Instead of just coming through like this. And that's just me being picky. Mostly. Uh, so this is fine. This is fine. And then that's fine. So we just need a wall here. As long as someone doesn't get stuck in there. Uh, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Are these all actually designated as tombs? They are not. Do that. Dun. And then we're going to request our broker. And we're going to move something. I think we've been making muscle shell stuff. Maybe we haven't. We haven't been making anything. We've been surviving. We've been barely surviving. We have some leather, though. So we should start making, like, shell stuff. This is all just clothing. We have some muscle, cell, muscle shell stuff. And most of the stuff in here is worn, plus just a random artifact. Okay. Let's not trade the artifact, but we'll trade most of the other stuff in this bin. Oh. I mostly just want to see if they have an anvil. That's kind of the only thing I care about right this moment. Okay. Is that you? Is, is mom our trader? Yeah, mom's our trader. <laughs> okay, so then we have our stuff. And then, what do you got? You got some ropes, you got some flasks. Hammers, cages. We don't have any animals, really, do we? Well, maybe that's what I should have asked for. Maybe we should ask for some sheep. I just want to... Do you have an anvil? I should probably just search for an anvil. They have a bunch of bags. And they brought a bunch of leather and cloth. Okay. Anvil! Okay. Anvil. Uh, for a hundred. I think that's going to be worth it. Um, and then I'm going to select everything in here, but then, like, unselect the stuff I care about. Everything that isn't worn clothing, essentially, and muscle shell stuff. Yeah, that's all fine. Pond turtle shell a ring. Of course, that's going to be way overkill, but that's also fine. Yeah, okay. And then there's, like, a single sock that doesn't have any wear on it. <laughs> Um, how about all the meat? And all the fish? 
And all the plants. And all the leaves. And all the leaves. Uh, we don't need thread. We're making thread now. I'm doing it the hard way, but I, I mean, I have it set up, so I'm just gonna keep with it. Uh, oh, and books! I haven't done a library in a minute, have I? Maybe I actually brought me a book. Let's, let's get the book. Will you, will you trade that? Oh, perfect. Okay. We have an anvil. Mission success. Look at me. Flawless. Uh, no trader needed. Let's go ahead and place that. Um, do I have any... There we go. So our, our food stuff is on, is at the top. Yeah, and then, and then here we are. Um, so let's dig out... Okay, then we're gonna dig out some of these. I'm gonna say... Maybe back here is forge stuff? I'm gonna do like this. Right? some workshops, mostly some smelters, right? Uh, furnace, let's do smelter. We're gonna want like one wood furnace. Yeah, select after shirt. We should start making blocks as well, but it has not been a priority. Can't imagine why. Um, and these, these are all craft boards, right? So we also want like stone crafters. Maybe those go here. Uh, stone worker. Okay, and then hopefully our miner can figure out how to do the rest of the mining. Yeah, you're digging. Okay, perfect. That's what I want to see. Now... Do they actually have shell jobs? Am I am I actually making shell crafts? Make shell crafts. We just don't have shells. Are they being stored out here or something? Uh, here's our refuse. No, I did that. Probably just not a place for them to go inside. So then I want, I also want to make a spot for our, our water for, I well, it ended up closed, didn't it? Water for our waterfalls. It's like that, right? dig out a section of the aquifer here and that'll drain into our waterfalls. I guess I want to... Oh, look! You did trap yourself. Look at you. And of course, the, there's only one person who can disassemble the wall. The person with the... person with the pick. Off bags. Sure animal, no creature. We just... Yeah, we just don't have creatures, do we? Uh, is there anything that we haven't assigned in here? A bunch of birds. We have a small handful of birds. One of which is a named... Falcon or something. Uh, and then you're just tied to there. Yeah, perfect. And then there's just a bunch of empty buckets. Cool. Cool. How are we on... Is everyone doing stuff? No, you all... Okay, I want to get people working on moving stuff downstairs. I think that's... That's going to be important. Um... So then here, I want to put... Yeah, and well, we want to dig this too. Oh, 
we're just gonna do a big furniture stockpile. Mm -hmm. Stockpile. Furniture. And there's gonna be our finished goods. The uh, merchant even. Okay, that's fine. And then in here, we have what we want to do. Uh, our our single or metal smith. That's what it is. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna put that here. We have our one anvil. We have our shirt. I'm also gonna make. I want a wood furnace. And let's do... Oh, hey, some migrants. Um, we could do kiln and glass. I can just do less than we've been doing, right? That'd be fine. do we do? Cause, I mean, I'm not gonna like go super hard on wealth, right? That's not our, it's not our goal here. We'll just, we'll stick with the wood furnace for the moment because that's what, and the thing that we're kind of needing. Uh, okay, so we got, what, an expert weaponsmith? And a duck. What are you? Adequate woodcrafter. Talented herbalist. Cool. Some more animals. That's not bad. Accomplished gem setter. Lots of animals. Everything's fine. Hi, Master Clother. Ooh. And then adequate soper. Good. Legendary weaponsmith. Oh my god. Vukar. Cool. Have you. Do we know you? The past iron. I don't think I know where the past iron is. Flag of watchfulness is us right now. Contingent seals. That was... Hello, hello! How's it going? Is contingent seals... Uh, is that face earths? Oh, of course you're in the denomination of whispering. I want to say contingent seals is, is face earths. Is that something I can check from here? No, that's the Faithful Ore. Contingent Seals is Elder Ring. Okay, cool. This is a, a legendary weaponsmith coming to us from our capital of, of Elder Ring. Perfect. I wonder if this is, I wonder if we actually saw this person when we were playing there uh, for Extra Life. That might be someone, we might actually just recognize that person. Um, so it's, it's like six, pretty small migrant wave, but that's fine. Um, that's some more talent for sure. Okay, so this all got dug, and it's not wet. Hooray. Uh, do I... Yeah, we're a bit below... We're a bit below, aren't we? <laughs> do I use this? Hmm. Okay, so how do we get our water? We could obviously do, we could like do aquifer here and just do some really tall channels, essentially. Uh, we could come in from our river. We could use this water from the cave. We're training, we're like, we got all these weird <laughs> abandoned mine shafts, essentially. Uh, so then... So this water is like one level too low for where I want it to be. I want it to be on this level. But we could pump. And our power's right here. And we have extra... We're gonna have extra power, right? Uh, it's still not... It's not quite connected. But yeah, this whole bottom part only needs 170. And we're gonna have 400 as soon as this gets all linked up. Uh, I don't know why... Like, why did that one... Why is this one not here no more? I think they're just having a having a hard time getting them all built. 
Ooh. They can access this, can't they? Right, because they can get here. They can, they go up up here, through here, and then up here. I think they can get there. Oh, there's a bunch of holes in here. And then this top part, yeah, has got 57, but it's got the power. Maybe, maybe we get rid of this. Maybe that'll help them get in there. They can come in from the top. Maybe that's the problem. Who knows? Um, there's also... Did you get out? You got out. Okay, so let's try this again. Wall. I don't know, jet. Something that's not right here. You are building dwarves? You're building dwarves! As in dwarf fortress dwarves? Or like Lego doors or something. Are you... Uh, oh, dang it, what's his name? They could be. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm, I was about to show off my esoteric Lord of the Rings knowledge, and now I'm gonna, not going to be able to remember his name. Aule? Are you Aule? I think that's who I'm thinking of. More 3D printed tiny scale doors. Oh, neat. Oh, yes. Did I get it right? Am I, am I thinking of the right person? <laughs> okay, I think... I think pump... I think pump is our right answer here. Because because we don't need like a ton of water flow, right? I just want to pump water from here and put it here. I'm going to do a pair of doors. Since those are, you know, freakishly watertight. We're going to do that. And we're going to have a... A water channel. I want it to... I want it to kind of come in the middle here. So maybe it's like... Yeah, I think right, right here. So this is how our water is going to travel. Here, let's actually... I'm going to plan things first. Um, and then what I want, might need to stop due to super glue smell. <laughs> Nonsense. Uh, oh, but to get power off of here, I'm going to have to disassemble one and turn it into, I'm going to have to turn this into a, 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 a gear assembly. We can, of course, like this is gonna be aquifer, right? Let's. Or no. Okay. So our our pump is gonna be over here. We need a little bit of water to come in. So we're gonna have like a little um, a little reservoir, essentially, right? Something like this. And then the pump itself is gonna sit here. And is going to pump from from this square. So this is a channel, and then the power is going to come in like on this one. It's this side or this side? I think it's this side. I guess we'll find out. Knew that. Let's move it. And then then we can stare down. Let's do something like this. Yeah, that should work. And then these will be fortifications to allow water in. I guess. Uh, and then we need to make um, a pipe. We can make a wooden pipe, right? Pretty sure. Uh, let's run smooth. So if I go to machine and say screw pump, and we're going to pump in this direction, right? And it's going to go here. So we need blocks and a screw, need screw trap component and a pipe section. Okay. Um, so let's definitely get some blocks going. 
uh, rod block. Those are useful for lots of things. And then we can say pipe. Can I just say wooden pipe? Wooden pipe section and then a uh, wooden corkscrew. Yeah, why not? We're not pumping magma. Literally just gonna do one of each of those. And then the blocks are gonna be a, a repeating thing. Um, let's go up to like 200. Yeah, 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 yeah. That'll be good. And then there's that. And then let's our fortifications here. Hopefully no one gets drowned. Who finishes first? There we go. Okay. Get out. Out. Up. 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 Okay. <laughs> See, they're good. They're fine. They're fine. And they both finished fortifications. Perfect. So now no one needs to go back down there ever again. Now that I have hatches, we should make some hatches too. Um, and then we can we can keep some of those on hand, right? Just keep 10 hatch covers. That'll be fine. Um, and then we need to disassemble this axle. Uh, but we can start building the other stuff, right? We can do a gear assembly here. And then that's just going to come down here. Yeah, and then gear assembly there. Because it's still... Oh, and it's even just one level above. Perfect. It may have disassembled all of the other ones, though. Yeah, it sure did. Except for the ones that are attached up top. Okay. Okay, well, let's, let's redo all these. Uh, use closest because it's all just going to be wood, right? Hopefully they can get it all figured out this time. There we go. Now we want a horizontal axle. Like that. And then, in theory, we can make a screw pump if they've finished with the other parts. Oh, no. Oot. Nope, they have not. That's fine. Uh, but we'll hook one of these up to a lever, and that'll allow us to turn our waterfalls on and off. How about that? Uh, so we just need a little lever room. Uh, and that can just be, I don't know, in here somewhere. I want to save some room for more, more dining hall. Uh, so we'll just do this. And then are you, you're just hanging out. Okay, good. Uh, there's our food stockpile. There's all this stockpile. Oh, and we can, uh, let's take those things out of here. So things, people can actually start moving things, right? Food is already taken out. Uh, oh, this should be s storing shells in theory. Uh, we'll say no furniture, no finished goods. That's fine. <laughs> oh. That one came out of nowhere. Uh, and then, yeah, okay, so we have stone worker here. We moved our stone workers down. We've moved our craft words down. We need to move carpenter and mechanic down as well. And are you, you're farming, you're farming. Look at all these whip vines. Look at all these whip vines. Those are gonna be worth a lot. Finding fuel in there. That's cool. Uh, okay, cool. Those have been done. Uh, they're all 
just figuring it out. Cool. Let's get the make the levers first. Lever. Start with that. That should be fine. Oh, and look, the millstones are powered. Perfect. So that worked. Yeah, perfect. They just needed. They probably just needed to be reminded. <laughs> Uh, so we can put this floor back. And of course, another strange mood. Why wouldn't there be another strange mood? Glassmaker? Oh, so you're going to need... I just dropped a coffin. So you're going to need a glass shop. Um, which is fair. Let's go ahead and do that. Furnace. Oh, and we're saving. Cool. Might as well get a glass and a kiln going, or maybe two glasses, so that one of them can be gathering sand and the other can be using the sand. Uh, but then we'll at least be able to, you know, make some of everything. Ultrafunk 3000? <laughs> oh, this is a uh, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. Excellent. I never actually played the Luigi's Mansion games. I've heard they're quite good. Uh, glass furnace. Of course, I know this song from like Smash Brothers because there's a Luigi's Mansion stage with this song. Kiln. Uh, okay, so then we have our smelters. Let's get our let's get our forge jobs going. Uh, of course, we want charcoal as a backup. And lignite and coal. I heard, so I've always been calling this bitumus. Which, you know, now that I look at it, there's there's letters in here that I'm not pronouncing. But I hadn't actually heard anyone pronounce this word out loud before. It's always just been a dwarf fortress word for me. But it's bituminous. Bitu bituminous. Bituminous coal. Okay, so then charcoal's our backup, so this only goes as long as we have coal, fuel less than, let's say, let's say 20. I mean, 10 might be fine. 10 is probably fine, not 100. And coal and logs, fine. Ah, uh, but these other two, we find coal, get coke. As long as coke is less than like 200. No, no, no. Mario? We found bitumen coal. Bitumen, bituminous coal. Gonna take a bit to <laughs> remember that. Uh, but we haven't really found any lignite. And then we want to smelt. I want to start smelting iron. Um, so we're going to do... Was it magatite? Hematite. And limonite. So then we can make more anvils. Do, 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 do. Uh, iron bars. Magatite and coal. We'll say we'll say ten. Okay. 
And then I'll get him going on some iron. As long as we actually have stuff. Which I think we had some. There was a little bit in there. Haxlord. Excellent. And then you've claimed your glass furnace. What do you want? You want metal bars? Okay, we're working on it. Give me a moment, dude. Because these are gonna... We still have... We still have a manager. Yes. Mom. Mom is taking care of everything. That's right. Mario? Mom, I need some bars. Tell Urus to make me bars. And then we... Like, I'm not seeing fishing happening. We have a gather fruit zone, but of course we don't have fruit gatherers. And we have a fishing zone here. I'm not seeing people doing the fishing. Uh, oh, and of course they have to come all the way out here for their wood. Is her baby okay? I think so. Um, the baby? Oh, we actually have another baby. I don't know which one of these it is. Uh, relations? Yeah, mother is mom. Yeah, so baby's fine. Baby is... On, on his own. Baby's walking around. Or you try... Uh, Eshtan is a child now instead of a baby. So Eshtan's walking around doing chores. Yeah, perfect. Is that... So do we have a... Do we have two children? No, we do have a baby. So who's baby? Both... Okay, so uh, both parents are here for this baby. This might have also happened recently. How old are you? You're one year old. This might also be a birth that happened here. Or they, they embarked here with a literal one-year-old, which, you know, choices. But dwarves be that way sometimes. Uh, the dwarves are here. So request our broker. Now that we have anything to trade, I'm really curious why our fishers... Do I just need to lock them to fishing at this point? Because I, I want more trade goods. Oh, nobody does this. That's what I... Okay, what else did I do that for? Just the fishing. We were we were focusing our labor for a little bit. Okay. Maybe the maybe the fishing will happen now. Uh, and I want to link some of these levers. I'm gonna link this lever with this. That's for for this one, right? This is going to be our main gate. And then this one, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reserve those other two for, for like gates and stuff, but this one's going to be waterfall pump. And that's going to link to this one, link to there. Great. Perfect. Let's discuss your situation. The world is the same as ever. Cool. Um, at this point, I mean, I'm just going to keep importing up to cook. So what else would you have for me? Oh, animals. No, we should ask for animals. Uh, pets? Let's ask for... Where do you have, uh, sheep? I want sheep. I guess llamas. Llamas and alpacas are also good. Sheep are just the cheapest. Do they not... Oh, here we go. A ram and you. I guess that's what they would be. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, did not. I clicked the wrong button. Mm -hmm. uh, pets. Ram, you. Llama, alpaca. Let's say just those. Just to make sure they bring some. Needs refined coal, yeah. But what about the charcoal job? Is the charcoal job not going? That's what the charcoal job is for. Make charcoal. Yeah, they should be going. They're trying. They're trying. Oh, and I need to make like actual stockpiles here for everything, don't I? Um, let's do. Let's do down here. Is going to be our our bar and stockpile. Bar and bar and block, right? Uh, there's 
that. And then I guess gems are probably gonna go over here. And then probably our, our cloth stuff. I'm gonna go closer to, to here. Maybe like this. This will be leather and cloth. Or both. Thank you. And then what else? That's kind of it. As far as the important things, right? Uh, we can get fancy with stone stockpiles for inputs, but it's everything that needs to be here. Uh, and then... Okay, they're going. They're going for it! I must have cut gems. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Guess we're just... We're just gonna do it, aren't we? Point. Okay. The migrants have arrived. Cool. And that's... Dabbling milker, skilled metal crafter. Okay, talented wound dresser, and a quit stone cutter. Accomplished weaver. Nothing. Peasant. Here's an axe. Expert presser. Novice fish dissector. Sure. And that's everyone. That's not bad. Uh, did I move anything to here? We don't even really... We still don't have anything to trade. Look at this. Yeah, what do we trade with the dwarves? There's some... There's a couple things in here. Really not much, though. Just a couple. Yeah. And that artifact is just in here now. Okay. Yeah, hopefully the hopefully the fishing goes. Yeah, now we're fishing, so now we should be getting shells. Oh, and look, a Kia is attacking a goat child. Agitated giant Kia, great. Oh, but it's unconscious. Is the the goat kid kicks the Kia in the head? Neat. Is this goat goat gonna kill? Well, now you're here too, fishery worker. Can I... Where's our... Where's our squad? I don't know... How's your equipment doing? Uh... Yeah, I mean, some of you have axes. Let's go... Let's just give a kill order. Confirm, please. Someone with a weapon of any kind can fix this. Please and thank you. Oh god. They're all just piling in. Did you just... They're going across the river? That's not... Guys, and then you're gonna, excuse me. There's a bridge. There's a bridge, people. You do not need to swim across the river when the bridge is right there. My god. Uh, okay, so then let's, let's trade and then we'll say, gosh, like all of this I wanna keep. Earrings can go. That can all go, this can go, this can go. That can go, that stays. That stays. That stays. That stays. There's some decent bone stuff in here, at least. That's 700. Uh, and then you just, you brought what I asked for, which is basically nothing. Cool. Uh, well, let's grab some leather. Grab some cheap leather.
we technically traded. Okay, um, so we're, we're making space for our gem cutters because that's what you need. I must have rough gems. You can find rough gems. Rock blocks we're making. Raw green glass, that's the thing we're gonna have to make. And cut gems and middle bars. Okay, so we're working on the bars. In theory, those will start activating because we have some coke going. Uh, we should make our, our gem cutters. some blocks. And then we need raw green glass, which means we need a sand collection job and uh, etc. Uh, so we're going to collect sand. I'm not going to tie it to a specific shop. It's just going to be whichever, whichever one. We'll even say do... And we'll just say one at a time. So it's only going to task one shop at a time. And then it's just gonna, yeah, and it's gonna check off of bags. No. Of course, I can't like just go back one level. Uh, let's do. What was it? Is it his bag here? No. Sand. Sand bearing item. This is just, I just want bag, bags, sand bearing bags, uh, less than 10. And if we just don't have the bag, then that'll, that'll fail and that'll be fine. Oh, but then we need to make raw green glass. And I'll just do a, a batch of five of that. Of stuff in here we can remove. Oh, we have some shells again. Good. Uh, bars and blocks, no. Both, no. Gems, no. Leather, no. And then we're fine so far. Oh, we have animals, don't we? Move the animals. Some giant keys in a uh, in cages now. Oh, should we train those? How good are we gonna like our civilization is gonna be so good at training giant keys? Uh, oh yeah, new Mogatol. Uh, oh, but you're already trained. That's right. We need to go here. Train and train. Oh, and a bunch of ravens because of course. Yeah, and then our. Like, where's Kias? The giant Kias, they're gonna be their own things. We have a few facts about giant Kias. What about normal Kias? A few facts. And I assume the agitated ones are not distinct. Like an agitated giant Kia and a giant Kia are gonna be the same as far as that goes, right? So we need to, we probably need to find more coal. I guess what are, let's check our, what do we actually have here? Stones. I have some hematite, some silver, a little bit of coal, a single lignite. Mm -hmm. Brimstone, interesting. Can we have kalanite? And a bunch of shirt. It's like all shirt. Okay, so we should be hunting for more fuel. Zal conglomerate, tetrahedrite, conglomerate, there's lignite. Uh, we'll just auto mine. Of course, this is going to be aquifer and hematite. I guess we want hematite too. 
conglomerate. Conglomerate. It's just, it's all aquifer. Okay, so you're right. If we want to do bronze. It's a little better. This is all fine. That's all flooded. There is hematite in there. Some some gems in there. Here's coal. That all coal? That's all coal. Wow, well, neat. And then limonite. Limonite's for ore. Limonite is iron. Yeah. Have to make sure we don't poke out into the caves, right? I think we're fine. Merchant leaving. That's fine. Oh, and there's slim lignite in here too, so that'll those will probably connect. We'll we'll be fine there. Uh, here's more coal. There's more coal. Microcline. Shale. Okay. Probably have grates here just in case. Uh, and then I'm gonna pull this lever so that it's disengaged while I construct things. That seems like a a safe safe way to do that, right? And then, and then, yeah, I want to make a screw pump. It's going to pump that way. And whatever, the closest of all the three things that we have is going to work. And then our bottom got sealed without trapping anyone inside. Good. should be fine. Uh, and then about our strange mood, you still haven't figured it out. Do we have, do we have any bars yet? This is all blocks. It's just all blocks. Melt, doesn't have magnetite. Uh, this doesn't have limonite. Limonite. Uh, and there's, I mean, there's a bit of hematite. In theory, someone can make a tiny bit of iron. Glassmaker is stricken by melancholy. Oh, I'm, I'm too late already. Yep, too late. Well, that dwarf's gonna die. These dwarves are in bags I got from Etsy, and I have no idea what's in each bag. It's like a mini Christmas. Excellent. Are they all different? Is it like a like a whole variety of, of little dwarf figures? Because that's really cool. Uh, yep, everything's canceling. Well, that's unfortunate. Oh, well. We can do we can do some of the rest of these shops, right? We're gonna do another another gem cutter. Just cause cause why not? Set of poses, etc. That's really cool. Sad Dwarf didn't get to do his inspiration thing. Yeah, I he wanted all the things we didn't have. <laughs> I was working on it. We were working on metal bars. We were working on getting some gems cut. Um, I mean, if he could have held out like another month, then he, he probably would have been fine. But uh, he got impatient and now he's run off and he's not going to take it back up again. So that's cool. Uh, we want our we want our carpenters. Uh, and probably mechanics.
mean, that's everything that's up here, right? I can just carpenters and mechanic, yeah. a little and then this can fill the rest of it whoops uh, and then uh, this is already gonna be <laughs> completely grid locked right uh, then I want to make I want to get some wood stockpile down here Carpenters are over here, so we'll say wood is like this. That's gonna be our... that's wood. And we can at least, like, go up and, and grab all this stuff, right? So our carpenters don't have to come out here for every single carpenter job. That'll help. Oh, and we should move our, our shell and stuff down there as well. All right, that can go, can go over here. Okay. Those can get kind of big sometimes. Let's do this. And then refuse, shells, bones, and skulls. This got done, right? You're... You're just hanging out? Okay. Attend the meeting. Stressed, why? Um, okay, so I'm gonna lock these two doors. And I'm gonna turn the lever on. And we'll see if that gives us <laughs> some waterfalls. Hopefully that works out nice. You're not trapped or anything. You can get out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. That looks good. Might even be excessive. I think it'll it'll calm down a little bit. I think. Uh, Cause that, geez, that is quite a bit of water. Uh, but it'll probably calm down. Because, like, it's gonna, like, it's pumping as much as it can through here, right? So it's, the, the limit's gonna be how fast the water can flow through these, these fortifications. Which is clearly, you know, kind of fast, but uh, I don't think we're gonna flood our fortress. And if we do, I can turn them off. That's not a big deal. And our, our... These are all, these are all good. The machines are all good. Uh, do I have jobs for actually grinding yet? We're, we're processing, we're making buckets. I don't think I actually made the mill plants job yet though. So let's do that. Uh, and yeah, we'll do 10 at a time, because we've got 10 millstones. As long as we have things to mill and places to put them. We're already starting off with pretty decent <laughs> mood here. Probably the, the waterfalls and the aquifers are probably doing some work for us too. Like just, just them getting down here. Are you... why are you... you are fine. You can leave. How am I? I'm doing good. I think. Oh, and then you... there's just a dead person here. Mm 
Why? That's just a little... Why? Can anyone actually get up here? I'm sure I've... Oh, is it because you need to come and get out from here? I really screwed up some of this instruction, didn't I? wonder if that'll fix you. Um, I know it was a while ago, but did you have a nice Thanksgiving? I did. It was pretty quiet. It was just my partner and I. Uh, we did a nice meal and hung out. And that's that's really all it was, um, which is fine. Um, both of our families are kind of... Okay, there you go. Is that what you needed? Weaponsmith found dead, yeah. That's the one in the, the puddle down there. Cool. That wasn't our good one, right? No, it's Dastok. Vukar was our good one. Um... Yeah, interesting. I made a... I made an un... unworkable path in there somewhere. Oh well. Um... Both of our families live a good bit away, uh, so we don't always see them for, for holidays, or we usually don't see them for holidays, I guess I should say. And their parents came and visited us like the week before when we were hanging out, um, and that, so that was cool, cool to see them again. Uh, but for the, for the holiday itself, it was just the two of us. Let's make, let's make more anvils. And picks, for that matter. Can I get, like, a second miner? Let's do iron pick. And I'll do, do three of those as well. Best Christmas I had in decades was first lockdown in 2020. I feel guilty with the reason why and family being sad, but honestly, no drama. Just making a little cozy Christmas was fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it was nice because no one was there. Yeah, that's fair. I know that feeling. Speaking of Christmas, geez. Um, I mean, it's it's like you you get what you're you you want the thing that you don't have, right? Um, I do kind of wish I could be around my family a bit more frequently, but especially now that I have little nieces, I wish I could go hang out with my nieces more. Um, but like, I also like having the excuse of. Oh no, I, I, it's hard. We can't just fly across the country to hang out, so I guess we'll we'll try it. We'll try again next year. You know, it's nice to not be like lo like locked into that, right? We don't have our our plans aren't defined for us just because we have family nearby. We're we're striking a bunch of stuff. Oh, and we're oh, did we reveal more cave? We revealed more cave in here somewhere. Uh, so we gotta be careful. I guess let's let's see what we what we mined out here. Um, yeah, some of this is gonna be this is all aquifer, so screw it. We have a, we found other things. Um, that's all. That's oxal aquifer. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, but geez, yeah, it went all the way over there. But now we have, we have fuel. Look at all that. Oh, and we're saving. Cool. Now it's winter. I want to dig down and find the other caves, too, in case there's anything fancy down there. Playlist is video game music and then suddenly 4-bit Last Christmas. I know, right? Well, what happened was they it's like one album is like there's like two there's like two bits that are kind of 
oddballs in this playlist. Um, there's the Drake one, which I'm not opposed to, but it doesn't necessarily fit in a video game playlist. Um, and then there's... Um, oh, that all got open too. Um, they did an album, they call it Super Standards, I think is what they called it. Um, and it's like a lot of really well-known slash popular songs, like like Last Christmas and, and things like that of that caliber, I guess, but done in video game styles. So there's, and they did, they did an album of them. So there's like half a dozen songs in here that are like, the song itself has no relation to video games, except for they did it in a video game style, which I think is cool. It's, it's cool and all. But yeah, every once in a while you're listening to it and it's like, oh yeah, this is just... This one doesn't quite fit. It's all that tetrahedrite. I don't care about tetrahedrite. Jeez. like gonna this is, I mean there's plenty of water here oh, and this is filling in from the side so it's not gonna we're not gonna run out of water I don't see any mud in here or anything so I don't think we're doing too bad a, little, a dusting of mud it's a, a, a tiny bit of mud okay the last maker found dead dehydrated oh that's the, that's our failed strange move okay that's fine we we knew about that not fine but we knew about it We have some we have some empty coffins, pretty sure. Um, and then and then you're working on your make it anvils. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> and then they still just okay, I think they they'll we'll collapse this down a little bit. I'm just gonna take them a moment. Uh, and then I want to go down. Here's our... So we got to the second cave, and of course we're flooding... <laughs> we're flooding the second cave. We're draining the first cave into the second cave. How's that for terraforming? Of course, there's water in here already, and it connects to the edge, so I think it's actually going to drain off, right? Yeah, you can actually see it. Well, this, is, this, isn't the edge. this isn't the edge of the map, so I don't know that for sure, but I think it will just... If it can find the edge, it'll just kind of... It'll just kind of leave. <laughs> this cave is a little bit of a mess now, though. Uh, but I want to, I want to dig down through it, and I also want to make, I want to, I want to have a couple different miners because we, seriously, one legendary miner and no one else is anything. So we're gonna have to find. Who wants to be a miner, trapper, hunter, animal trainer? Yeah, you can be a miner. Mom, you have enough jobs. Potter, yeah, I don't really care about. Didn't we have a peasant? Here's a peasant. So we'll say we'll say four miners. I think we can dig through here. Hopefully it's not all aquifer. Hopefully we're done with the aquifer. Let's do like this, and we'll go down to like 50. to the restroom just real quick. Keep an eye on Uvash for me.
Oh, hey, look, he's still digging. So diligent. Well, we're getting down there, aren't we? And there's someone else here mining, too. Oh, my gosh. We actually have more than one pick. All this. This is all. Touch of hedrid. Oh, there's platinum. Yeah, three miners. Holy cow. Gosh. Okay. Well, they they made it all the way down there. What have we struck? We have struck. Nothing too fancy. So we just keep going down. We probably just punch straight through it. Well, let's just let's just dig. We'll find something, right? some oats. So the shell stuff, I mean, we're, we're making some shell stuff, but we should make... We should make something out of glass. Okay, so that, that part worked. Maybe kiln. What do we what do we have for instruments? So we, we know our kind of know our instruments because this is the same civilization, but I haven't really looked at it recently, have I? No, we don't have any simple instruments. Wow. I find that surprising. Except for whatever these are. Aerith and Ud. And a meb. A meb requires a body part? What is a meb? Uh, well, that's not gonna tell me. Hmm. Uh, oh, we should cut gem. Because, of course. Doing okay here. More, more platinum. We have discovered a cave. Holy cow, it is so far down. 105. The difference between cave two and cave three. The cave two is on negative 11. Negative 10. And then cave three. Down here at negative 105. There's 90 levels between cave two and three. That is a little, a little bonkers. It's, they're usually a little, <laughs> a little closer than that. Uh, but we found it. I see, I see a vault. Okay. I'm not seeing any fancy lava things happening in here. Uh, let's go ahead and... Do that. And we'll close that back off again. Perfect. And then we can just keep digging down. Just 
just keep going. We can we can brew whip vine. We shouldn't be. I mean, I know we're also grinding them, but okay. Yeah, I guess we're we're getting through all our stuff. Wow, only a little surprise. Stone. Okay, perfect. We're gonna just keep going. Okay, cool. Actually, that works. Because they're like, they're finding a way through it even. Interesting. We must be right along the side. Right? Yeah, we're... Oh, interesting. Okay. And that's all warm. Okay. So then we say here, we can peek in. Sand pairing arm. Do I have a sand collection zone? Did I ever actually do that? This is all. Do we actually have sand here? Loamy sand. Loam. Silty clay. Loamy sand. So I th can we... Can we get sand out of loamy sand? No. We might not have sand here. I assumed we did. This is all just... Loamy sand, silt, loam, silty clay. We might not have sand here. Huh. You'd think I'd check that earlier than, like, now. Okay, well, that reduces our need for bags. <laughs> uh, that is a little unfortunate, though. So does that mean that I just turned what little sand we, we had? But then how did we have any sand? Because we didn't embark with any sand. I was going to say that was just the sand we embarked with, but I specifically didn't embark with anything. Search sand. Hmm, does that even work? Hmm. have sand. Okay, well, uh, I will, I will take out those jobs. So I guess we, I mean, I could have made, I have, or did we make any raw glass? 
Did I successfully make any raw glass? Where would that show up? Is that a stone? We just, we just don't have glass. We're just not gonna have glass. Okay. Well then. Uh, I guess we wouldn't have satisfied our friend anyway. I'm going to remove one of these at least. The other one we can keep for strange mood purposes. But, as we've learned, we're probably not gonna satisfy those anyway. Uh, Metal Smith. Blam! Now we have anvils. We're all good on anvils. And did, have we have we actually made iron bars? I don't see anyone working on it. We got 76 iron bars. We had a whole bunch of coke. Okay, cool. Let's start turning those into um into steel. We need to make big iron. We made to make steel. Flux. We're going to find flux. Steel bars less than, let's say, let's like make like 50 steel bars. Do we have... what kind of stones do we have? I don't know if I saw... I don't know if I saw Flux Layer. Surely we have Flux! Stones. I don't see Flux there. If I say a little stone stock out here, right? Chalk, I think calcite, limestone marble. There's another one, isn't there? No, no. Calcite, chalk, dolomite, limestone, marble. Dolomite and calcite. We have dolomite. Okay. Right? Is that the one that we were... That's the one I was just looking at? Yeah, dolomite. Okay, we have dolomite. I guess that works. Do I still need to be processing all of those plants? If I process plants, we're just processing plants all day long. And that's for cloth, right? We have, we have a bunch of rope reed cloth. We have a bunch of bags.
could make a library. We could turn that into paper, I think. Can rope free be turned into paper? I assume. It's a different process, obviously. Rope read, yes. And hemp, for that matter. Okay, so then this all worked, right? So then I'm gonna say we're just gonna we're gonna we're gonna poke a little hole. No. Is it one level down? It always is. Do like that. Make sure they can actually get out again. I mean, if we have so much cloth, I can just tell them to make a bunch of shirts, right? DF hack will tell us if we're or how little clothing we have, because I know that we don't just have a bunch. And then you you cancel immediately, right? Yep, because because of course you did. Yep, please go. We have discovered. We have discovered. Perfect. Oh wow, it was right there. How did that? How does this work? He's warm. What? Okay, whatever. Um, where's our where's our unusual wall? Over here. Not far from our stuff, even. And then there's yeah, there's water in there too, of course. Of course. then we just want to dig over here right and wall this back off That's so far so good, right? We're making we're making stuff. We're making stuff. I'm actually gonna turn them off of rope reed for now, because we got a whole dang bunch of it. Um, I just want I want more booze. Let's say longland grass. And barley. And foxtail millet. We can mill those, right? We can mill the millet. Let's do that. Say we're good on say we're good on the cloth stuff for the moment. Gold. Cool. Do I just go for it? Do I just do I just dig down? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go for it. Probably going to unleash a monster. but it's warm. Okay. Interesting that they can... You dig the first... 
You dig the part of the stair on this level, and that tells you what's below it. So what if I... So what if I do this? And then the only thing that doesn't cancel is... a monster, right? Okay, so that, so that worked. It reveals the water. Maybe that's all we need? Now I want to see what happens. I want to see what happens if I just designate a block of stairs. Because none of these are... they're not going th all the way down with any of these. Checked for heat! Okay, so then, yeah, there was a bit of heat there. There's some fire. I am going to unleash a monster if there is one in here, though. Yeah, something evil is emerging. Great! Oh, and it's a Weber. I just did good, didn't I? Okay. That's why we don't do it that way. How? Hello, hello, hi! How goes the fort? Well, here's a spider demon. <laughs> so, uh, the, the answer to that question might be changing very quickly here. Castle brains. Great. Digging deeply and greedily. I know, I was, I was testing a... <laughs> Miner found dead. Great. I was seeing if I could uh, do things a bit differently. Where'd the... where'd it go? Did it... is it just gone? Where'd it go, though? Spider kicks the militia commander in the head. No, and it was... that was Uvash, too. That was our legendary miner. That was my fault. Uh, but where is it? What happened to it? It's gone. But no, who killed it? Okay, let's... Let's stop this. Miner Uvash. I mean, it just one-shot our... our miner, but now it's nowhere. Unless it's invisible. What happened to it? It just disappeared on us. Yes, loot the corpse, I know. How does that work? Missing dead tab? Mm. Spider demon. Deceased. But how? There's no... there's no combat log... to indicate it... anything happening. Where did it come... so we didn't... We didn't cut out this tile, though. came out of here How does that work? I'm not sure I get that one. I mean it's dead, clearly. It's a shame you can't do death cause on DF hack without a body or body part. That's true. Yeah, I don't even see the corpse. It's just not... It's just not here. I wonder... Did we... Did we encase it in, in obsidian? Because some of the... Because these aren't full. I wonder if it was like... Oh, what tile did it come out of? Uh, we got that alert still here, right? Something evil is emerging. Because the fact that there's no corpse here... Yeah, it got fossilized. I think so. Oh good, that strange mood is going. I totally forgot about it. What? Oh, it's this. Something evil is emerging. No, it says that. Okay. Uh, Unib Eshen, a shirt puzzle box. So it must have...
I bet you it was like this tile. Oh, it must have been this tile. So we, we dug down this tile at the same time that we dug down this tile. We didn't even dug, dig down this tile. We just revealed it diagonally. So it must have moved into this square and killed our miner at the same moment that we were mining out this square. And then the, the magma moved in this way, the water moved in this way. Or maybe that this was like either magma or water to start with. And and now, it, now it's here encased in this obsidian. Does that mean, does it get released again if I mine that tile? Will we find it? Because like metal things survive that. Hmm. We've made it even more dangerous somehow. Go us. <laughs> but I bet you it's right here. Or right here, but that wouldn't make sense. I bet you it's right here. At the same moment that it killed someone. The timing on that. Oh, poor Uvash. By that was, mo that was probably by moments that Uvash died. And <laughs> but also like like a moment in one direction and everyone would have survived, and a moment in the other direction and everyone would have died. Very, very precise timing for exactly one person to die and then the spider to even die. That's incredible. Needs crutch. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Cr crushed. Let's make some of those. And we're saving. It's spring, hooray! I was saying at the at the open of the stream, uh, the part where I was talking to myself. Um, but I think today might be our uh, our last door fortress for a moment. Uh, I think I would like to check out Timberborn, and then we'll come back to door fortress once adventure mode comes back out. Uh, just so that I'm not like going into adventure mode pre burned out, I guess. Uh, so this is this is gonna be us. This is gonna be our last stream in this fortress, I believe. So I just, uh, so I wanted to get anvils going and we got anvils. So now this fortress where we embarked with literally just axes is now able to be self-sufficient. So I'm trying to think of what else we want to do here. We need hematite. We need, we need to be finding ore. It's really what we need to be doing. Imagine being the demon entombed in rock for hundreds of years, and then within five seconds being unearthed, you're immediately dusted. Exactly. Almost like it's divine retribution or something. I like to imagine that it's not like actually dead. It's just still trapped in there. So it had like five seconds of fresh air, killed someone, and now it's like exactly where, like the exact same position it was in, but now it's like five feet over that way. Damn. I almost had him. I mean, we, this is a this is a simple fortress. I mean, <laughs> clearly there's not enough jobs for people. But it is a fortress. We got our food, we got our drink, we got our production going. Um, I discovered that we don't actually have sand here, so we can't actually do glass, but we do have a kiln. So we could do... we could do clay... grass? Is that a thing? Not really. We could do statues. No, clay crafts. Um, I might... yeah, because we're not... we're making shell crafts. What do you, did you say you were doing after Dwarf Fortress? Timberborn, the beaver game. It's a, it's a, uh, it is sort of like glass. That's true. It is glass. It is volcanic glass. You're, you're not wrong. We don't have sand to make our own glass. We would have to make obsidian. Um, 
but it's a it's a beaver based city builder. But I'm hoping it's gonna uh, satisfy the same itch as Dwarf Fortress. It's gonna be you know kind of same same vibes, but something new to learn. I feel like I've I've learned a lot about Dwarf Fortress in the last year, and now I wanna I wanna learn more things about other games too. And then Adventure Mode is gonna come out, and there's gonna be a lot more to learn about Dwarf Fortress. Adventure Mode is gonna kick my butt. Like I don't I don't know nearly as much about Adventure Mode as um, as Fortress Mode, so. There's going to be some learning there. Uh, clay crafts. I mean, or do I just... It just repeats. It just reports. It, it just repeats. It just repeats. Timberborn looks fun. I know, I agree. So we'll spend a little bit of time there, I think. Uh, let's build a second kiln, even. Here we have a bunch of steel. Is the, fa the fact that no one's down here making steel stuff? Does that mean we have a bunch of steel now? No. Who's who's making my steel? Who's canceling my steel? We're smelting. Why isn't why isn't pig iron going? Pig iron should be going. Someone make the pig iron. We have everyone standing around. I don't see it canceling. We're running out of stuff for iron. That's, you know, a different thing. It's not showing up here at all. If I say make a pig iron, needs flux stones. We have flux stones. I thought I was. We have a bunch of dolomite. Where where is the dolomite? Is it just completely inaccessible? Dolomite. Well, that stuff is inaccessible. But there's a bunch of stuff in the walls here. Yeah, this. Can I just dig all this out? Elven Caravan, hooray. Dolomite. Right there. I see it. I've been getting around to doing my turn of a succession fort. Very excited to send it off to my friend. Excellent. I've never actually done a succession for it. It's very, it's a very fun idea. Uh, how long has that succession for been going? Okay, people are grabbing these. Maybe that's, maybe that's all that was waiting on. Hopefully we have a big chunk of it, right? Yeah, there's like this whole layer. It's gonna be dolomite. Do I trade with the elves? I'm not. I don't, I'm not gonna trade with the elves. We just started last month, so it's very fresh. Kind of treating it like chess by mail, so no rush to actually do our years or anything. Yeah, totally. It's just the two of you. So oh, that's cool. You like a goal with the fortress, or are you just like going going for fortress? Oh, we should make wheelbarrows. We could make wheelbarrows. Just make ten wooden wheelbarrows.
You left the one. Okay. So now, are you gonna are you gonna do the thing? And it's all showing up here. Do one for the metal ore as well, because why not? Uh, stone, metal ore, so it's gonna be limite, magnetite, hematite. Just the two of us. Unfortunately, there are only so many people in my friend group who enjoy games like Dwarf Fortress. Yeah, it's true. Dwarf Fortress is like oddly niche, right? I think it's becoming more mainstream. I, I see like a lot of people, uh, a lot more people talking about it and being interested in it now that the Steam version is out. Um, it used to be kind of, used to be like underground almost, but it's still, it's still a, a, an intense one to really sink your teeth into. No gold currently. Kind of just want to see where the fork goes and see what interesting things happen. We're writing captain's logs of sorts to go along with our sessions. Excellent. Yeah, that's the proper way to do it. Oh my god, why am I not? Okay. Keep mentioning going to Dwarf College and studying Rycology and character. <laughs> make a dwarf college. You can make a scholar center. I think that's fun sometimes. Try to attract as many scholars as you can. Oh, look at all this limonite. We're good. We're good. So now, can you can you make big iron? Make You can make big iron. I want to see you making big iron. I want to see it happen. Still don't understand about 90% of this game. Yeah. Uh, I really want to make a scholar fort someday. Yeah, do it. We'll do it. Uh, I was just thinking we made we made a whole bunch of rope breed or grew a bunch of rope breed for cloth purposes, but now we have a bunch of cloth. And I'm not gonna use I'm not gonna use bags for sand because we don't have sand apparently. Uh, so we could turn it into paper. Um, do we have a whole bunch sitting around still? Let's see. They're, they're going to keep processing it, though. I didn't tell them to stop processing it. Uh, plants, plants, plants. They're in here somewhere. Plants. Uh, we got a little bit of rope we left. So we could grow more and turn that into paper. I enjoyed looking after your four. I like the idea of doing some kind of tutorial or noobverse pro succession fortress. Oh, yeah, that'd be fun. That could be fun. Making muscle shell crafts. Cool, cool, cool. Could even stream it, maybe? That's fair. I mean, clearly people like watching these forts, so... There is an audience for it. We're just going to have a bunch of bags. Uh, I don't think we need that many bags. Let's, let's, let's reevaluate this here. Let's do... Instead of processed plants, I mean, we want to have some cloth. Um, I'll just stop making bags, right? Because this is, I mean, it's looking at empty bags. Is this properly empty bags? So how many empty bags do we have? We have, we have like four empty bags. Okay, so then we do want to have empty bags. That's fair. Now imagining an inverted necromancer tower and it's just the structure of a tower but underground. That'd be cool. No commitment needed. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, we we I mean, we could make our own world. We could make a, a, a succession specific world. And then just it just exists and there's no pressure for uh, like making it ready for for a stream or anything. It's just kind of it's just kind of there. Um, yeah, that, I think that'd be cool. You can. Um, so there's 
there's not a real good way to do it on purpose, especially without adventure mode right now. Um, but Necromancer Towers, you know, have their... There's the tablets. There's the there's the secrets of life and death um, is, a, is an item, basically. Um, and you can... You can bring the item back to a fortress. Um, I don't know if that's a good way to do it right now, but like every once in a while you'll see someone show up with one. If you're very lucky or unlucky, depending on how you how that turns out. Um, but you can technically make like a necromancer fortress. Merchants are leaving, that's fine. Um, let's do let's do paper. Why not? Let's do paper. Um, so I'm gonna say let's come back here. Uh, and we'll we'll put this back onto rope read. So we'll get some next season. And then so what's gonna happen is instead of processing, I have to look up the paper stuff I have to look up every time. You, ma you mash the plant into slurry at a millstone, and then you press it at a screw press. So we're so the, the so you grow you grow the crop, and then you mash into slurry. Um, and I can't designate the actual specific item here, um, but I think the only thing it's going to mash is is stuff that can be. Paper fried? I guess we'll find out. Uh, but we'll just do like. like five at a time. Uh, and this is going to be. I'm gonna look at how many slurryable plants we have. Uh, which we currently don't have. Uh, but it's also gonna look at cloth. Right. I'm going to say. Uh, if our if our cloth is less than a hundred. No, greater than. So if we because I don't want to run out of cloth, right? I want to make sure that the cloth is a higher priority. Um, so as long as we have at least a hundred cloth, we can grind some of the rope reed into slurry. As long as we also have the rope reed. Um, and then we're going to press paper plant slurry into paper sheet. <laughs> oh, hi creature. Uh, we can also do these five at a time. But that's just going to be... As long as we have globs, we'll turn them into sheets. Uh, and we'll do these like five at a time. So we just need to make sure that we also have our screw presses. We have our, our mills going. Uh, so then screw presses are a... Hey, look, migrants. Hooray. The farm thing? Creature, you are exactly in the way. It's crazy how far this fort has come. I know, right? You're tagging out. You're going. You're uh, going to bed. Okay. Have a good night. I uh, hope to see you around. I will. I will. I will be. We'll continue making making cities. They're gonna keep being weird. Uh, we're just gonna. We're gonna have some new things to learn. Um, yeah, and we're and we're and we're crafting stuff too. I uh, hope you come by for the the mask stuff. That's gonna get real cool. And you're you're just your butt's in the way. Your butt is in the way. Making cities being weird. Yeah, exactly. Kind of rough. The easiest way would be to settle near some already existing necromancers and try to steal their artifacts for your rating. Yeah, that's true. That probably would be the easiest way right now. If we get if we had adventure mode, you could just like walk into a tower and I mean, just if you can survive the tower, 
then you can just go grab it and then you can like retire an adventure in a fortress and then you, you just have it. Uh, but right now it's a little bit tougher. And of course, if you're within raiding distance of a of a necromancer tower, then they're within raiding distance of you, right? Where the heck? What am I missing? Screw press. There. Just do that, please. All right. So we have one, two, three, four. Goat. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, this is a pretty decent. I mean, this is spring, so that doesn't that makes sense. For sure, plenty of the dead walk alerts to abound in that case. Yeah, totally. That's always fun. And then the zombies show up with steel gear, and you just you just shut the doors and hide. <laughs> Pretty good. Holy cow. Getting up to... Are we going to break 100 today? We're up to 66. We've doubled our population today. That's pretty good. And we got the food to hold them, I think. But of course, we're not we're not like big digging bedrooms, are we? We have zero bedrooms. Maybe that's a thing they want. We're just going to do our... We're going to do simple bedrooms again. Not gonna get too complicated just because we're not gonna stick around here for too long. But I imagine they want some bedroom. Petition? The Oaken Guild. Oh. BRB, go to take a work call. Oh, yeah, no worries. A farmer guild. Okay. Sure. Where do we put guilds? Let's go here. I think let's go here. Let's do something like this. And then... I don't know, six by six? That's a guild hall. Probably want like a... a... a, a temple as well. Where's our miners? They're... They're working out. Okay. Oh, and then we want a library as well, right? Let's do, like... Something like that. Uh, so we need to make some bookcases. Jezebel has her tail on the keyboard. <laughs> She's like flipping back and forth between the keyboard and the mouse. Like, yeah. I'm sorry I'm in your way. My goodness. Uh, so then... So we're making... So we have paper, right? Uh, we're not... I don't think we have any yet, but that we have the ability to make paper. And then we're we're making thread from the same plants even. Uh, we've thread into cloth, so I want to make sure that we keep some amount of thread. Let's have like fifty thread. And then we need to make. Uh, uh, we could do just scroll rollers. That's the easier part, right? Uh, do rock scroll rollers. Hi, yes. Your your tail is on the number pad. I don't know what you're expecting here. <laughs> um, rock scroll rollers. I don't know how to distinguish between... I don't know if once they turn it into a scroll, if that's gonna, like, re-trigger this. I guess let's try. Rock scroll rollers... less than 15, we'll say. We'll see if that we'll see if that re-triggers as they actually make the scrolls.
We got a whole bunch of rope breed here, so that's a good sign. And we're, what are we doing? We're milling plants, so we're milling barley. Foxtail millet, barley. Woodbine flower. Woodbine flower. So that's all, I mean, that's all right. bunch of beds right bed uh, well I'll use the planner we even have 16 beds just sitting around Yo, yo. Sup? Uh, oh, we have a ghost. How do we have a ghost? Oh, because you, because you drowned and I never retrieved your corpse. I guess that makes sense. That's usually how it works. I'll do rock slabs. How's it going? Uh, we're. I think we're gonna make a uh, make a little library, make a quick little library here. I, uh, I quick, <laughs> we'll see if it actually worked that way. But uh, I think we're growing paper stuff. Masterpiece char roast. Neat. We're making pig iron. Good, good, good. I have doors, coffins, barrels, bins. Cages. Are beds even in here? Bed. Bed is here. Door is here. I think I still need like chair and table. Fine. 
our surface is a lot less dangerous than it was. I mean, I guess we do still have a whole bunch of ravens. <laughs> but they're not agitated or giant ravens, so I guess it could be worse. Get in their bedrooms. Cool, cool, cool. And we're... Are we mashing our paper? There's barley. Oxtail. Spelt. Barley. Okay. I don't know if we've actually harvest our... Did we harvest any rope reed yet? No, there's some. Someone's calling me. Oh well. Um, where's our plant? So, for, so cloth. Cloth. We have a bunch of cloth, so we're, we're fine on cloth. Uh, plants. Rope read. So we have some rope read. Oh, okay, I'm back. Okay, hi. Um, I'm going to say... Where's our claw? So we've, we've thread into cloth. As long as we have more than 50 plant thread, but also cloth less than 100. Say like less than 120 even. So it's not going to go right now. And then the the process plants only go is going to look at the thread. Thread. Uh, I just say plant. Can I just, can I just say plant? Cloth and paper industry are bane of my existence. Same. Uh, that's kind of why I'm trying to do it. See if I can remember how to do it. It's probably not that. It's probably going to be... An adjective? Can I just say plant? Plant items. Okay. So now, process plants will only go as long as plant thread is less than a hundred. We have a hundred plant thread. I would find that kind of surprising. Red. We, uh, we do. We have 155 plant thread. Okay. And 20 hemp thread. Okay. So, yeah. The, the the workflow of each of them is gnarly, and also getting them to play nice with each other uh, is also kind of gnarly. So we're processing plants. As long as we have plants uh, and less than 100 thread, we're making cloth. If we have less than 120 cloth and more than 50 thread, and we're smushing the plants. If our cloth is greater than 100, and we have plants, and then we're turning all of that into paper. Right? I guess we'll find out. We'll see if that works. Oh, and we need to make a... we need to engrave a slab for a person. Uh, for Dastot, you, now. Not to mention managing seed stocks with threading, that's true. Does the pro does process plants not give seeds? Because pulping the plant keeps the seed, but turning it into thread does not? That's, that's worth checking. Uh, 
Uh, well, I'm on the paper page, so I'm gonna check the paper first. Uh, slurry is created at a mill or current from cloth plants and pressed into paper at a screw press. This also creates seeds. So, s yes, so slurry, pressing into slurry, or yeah, mill mashing into slurry creates seeds. But what about process plants? Process plants turns pigtail, rope, reef, flax, etc. into corresponding type of thread and also their respective seeds. So both plants give their seeds back. So that part's not so bad. What's the water thing you have there? The water thing I have where? Uh aquifer. We have we have we have a pretty gnarly aquifer. Um but I have waterfalls. Have you not seen my waterfalls? I guess we're, we're down here. This is our waterfall. Oh, do you get seeds from threads? I've been paranoid about that for so many different parts. Yeah, I mean, apparently uh, the process plants job says it gives seeds. So that should that should be fine. Those are happening here, right? They're all they're inactive, so I don't have any leftover seeds in there or anything, but that seems fine. Wonder where that particular piece of misinformation came from. I mean, there's there are a handful of things that don't give seeds, right? Um, is it brewing? Is it brewing that doesn't give seeds? What about this? Let's go to the seed page. Maybe that's maybe that's the better thing. Seed production. Seeds are produced by brewing, milling, processing, or by dwarves eating the plant. So I guess cooking is the only thing that doesn't make seeds? Like cooking into a meal? Gotcha, just gotta make sure your cook doesn't get your plants in the labor menu then. Yeah. Yeah, um, if that's that's a good point even. Um Yeah, rope breed. Okay, so I turned off brewing of rope breed. So for for at least for rope breed, you can't cook it directly. Um, but for something like um <laughs> the only crops we the only plants we have here are the ones we can't cook. That might <laughs> there might be a reason for that. Um, got a bunch of whip vine. Look at that. That's probably worth quite a bit. Um, but I have I have 500 rope breed seeds sitting here, and I didn't pay attention to it at all. Um, but yeah, there are there are some things that you could cook into meal and then and then run out of seeds for, um, like plump helmets. I think you could because plump helmets you can brew and and cook. So I guess if you if you ended up cooking them all and didn't brew any of them or eat or eat any of them raw, then you would um, then you'd run out of seeds. And then you're all OK, you're all working on it. You're you're mashing, you're mashing. I mean, the mash plant, the, the job is there at least. Yeah, mash into slurry. OK, so you got the rope reeds. I want to like, I want to watch the rope read. Or it's going to turn into something else. I don't, the watch might go away, but there we go. And then, yeah, that gave a whole bunch of seeds. And now we have, and then where'd it go? Where'd my slurry go? Did it just immediately get, oh, we already have paper. Okay, cool. So that, that part's working. We're making paper.
Uh, this means I should be disallowing the watermelons I'm growing in the succession for it then. No watermelon meals, just eat them raw. Yeah, if you want to keep the if you want to keep the seeds in, yes. Um But also I wanna say that like uh, can you can you can you brew watermelons? You might be able to brew watermelons. Um but for something that you can brew like that or even eat raw, if you farm them enough seasons, you'll kind of build up a stockpile of seeds so that you don't have to be quite as careful about it. Because um, if you have like 200 watermelon seeds sitting around, you can, you know, if you're if you're eating half the watermelons raw and brewing the other half, then the, the half that you're brewing will provide enough seeds to kind of keep enough, right? Um, you don't have to be, if you have a stockpile, you don't have to be too persnickety about it, but when you're when you got like a dozen seeds total, then then yeah, you can you can get yourself in a corner, I think. I wish you could say I mean, yeah, you you just disallow the the cooking in the menu would be the real way, but I wish you could like go into the the food job, like the food work order and say use watermelons if you have more than 50 watermelon seeds, right? But you can't get too you can't get that specific with materials inside the the cook food work order. Like I can't even like you can't designate materials for meals at all. They just grab what they want. Look at salmon, mussel, steelhead trout and barley flour. That's going to be a good meal. Oh, I'm getting hungry already. That sounds like real food. Steelhead trout roast, yeah. Minced barley flour, minced salmon, minced raw mussel, and minced steelhead trout. That sounds tasty. I'd eat that one. There's like a fish bowl. Put some, put some, go get some rice in there. Just some, uh, some breaded fish in a rice bowl. That's a meal. Looking at it, it looks like you might not even be able to make watermelon mead. Well, mead, mead specifically is only honey, um, but you might be able to, can you not, you can't brew watermelon? It would be brew from, brew from fruit is where that job would happen. Edible, cookable. Yeah, you can't brew it. It's just food. So you would just have to eat enough of them raw to get uh, to get a stockpile of the seeds. Yeah, interesting. I bet you could make like in real life. I bet you you could brew watermelon. I feel like that. I feel like that should be allowed. Okay, we're we're making a bunch of rope read. This is all still going. This is all going. This is all going. Cool. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's just a goat here. I should put a. I want a. We have a llama. We have a llama. Llama. A yak donkey, a named hamster, a oh, baby llama. Cool. As long as it's got sugars and conferment, I don't see why you couldn't. Yeah, exactly. If someone's got sugar, it can turn into booze. I wonder what the what the actual sugar content for a watermelon is. is it, like it tastes sweet, but I don't know how much sugar it like, actually has. Uh, did we dig our... we dug our stuff. Okay, so we want to make one of these into a, a guild hall. For the farmers. Because they wanted one. Uh, human caravan, okay. Farmer hall. The Tuft of Larks. Watermelons do seem to be mostly water. Huh. <laughs> I, 
I guess it makes sense. But like most fruit is mostly water, right? We are mostly water. Meaning that there's gonna be a temple. And this will be our library. The Vault of Paint. Okay. Uh, and then we'll put some tables and chairs in here. And we'll do. Duh, I don't know. We'll do a, a row in the middle. Two, three, four, five, six, uh, six more bookcases. We have chess in here. I added table and throne. I don't know if I have a chest job in here. In. Nope. On behalf of the Merchants Guild, yes, 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 whatever. I don't, I don't care. I don't want anything. You're fine. Whatever. Go away. Oh, we need to place our, our slab, don't we? Oh, and we want to smooth this, too. And engrave this. Hunter has been elected mayor. Oh, neat. Oh, I guess we need, like, a mayor's quarters, too, don't we? Oh, well. Uh, let's do here. Administrator has created Cassis Therar, a brown zircon cage. You made a gem cage? Why? Why? <laughs> I guess that's fine, but why? No oh, good. Uh, unable to reach sight. It all seems fine. Looking at a blog where they've made watermelon wine and it comes out looking almost like rosy champagne. Interesting. What was I looking at? There was something... Mushrooms. Uh, the question was like, can you actually ferment mushrooms? And people have actually fermented mushrooms. Like, you, you can actually make mushroom wine. I kind of want to, kind of want to try it. Like, I don't associate mushrooms as having a bunch of sugar in them, but, like, any plant should have some sugar in it, right? Even a tree's got some sugar in it. Uh, I want to do a specific one. That one, thank you. Okay, so we have a what we have this made. I want to writing materials desired. I want to keep like all of them, right? Hopefully someone's gonna move our writing materials because we have we have paper now. I saw the paper. Where does that even show up? Is that a tool? Wheelbarrows, stepladder, rollers, bookcases. 
The blurry line between brewing and science experiment. Brewing is science, yeah. I feel like mushroom wine exists somewhere else. Yeah, I mean, you, you can just, you can ferment anything, right? I think, I mean, uh, we, there's, I feel like half the conversations I have on stream are about weird YouTube channels that I follow. Uh, but one of the, one of the YouTube channels that I watch, and I've been, I was introduced to it by my partner, uh, is Whiskey Tribe. And they do a lot of weird brewing experiments. Um, they're a, they're a, they're a whiskey distiller, but they, they'll just try, hey, can we, can we just, can we make booze out of Oreos? The answer is yes, but don't. Because <laughs> it's awful. Uh, but like, I actually don't remember how that one came out, but like they'll do things like that. Well, they'll, they'll just take like some random thing and say, can we make it? Can, does it ferment? Can we, can we distill it? And then they'll try it. And it's usually bad. But it also usually works. Like from a, like from a functional perspective, right? Like it, it ferments, it makes alcohol. You just don't want it. The trick is finding things that is like actually good. Where does paper show up? Where? Sheet? Is it a sheet? Sheet. We have 57 sheets. So they should show up in here. Yeah, sheet. I found it. And then they'll have scroll rollers. And then once, once they do the thing, we need to, we need to actually make Make the scroll roller. Make scroll. Man, is that what we do? Scrolls and kerns. <laughs> I think the difference between books and scrolls is that you can make a blank scroll, but you can't bind a blank book. Right? So I think I can just make scrolls and then this because paper, because a sheet itself is not writing material. That's the part. That's the thing is you have to make a choir. A choir or in a scroll count as writing materials. But you have to write on the choir and then bind to the book, but you can make a blank scroll and then they just write on the scroll and the scroll ends up on the bookshelf. That's the difference. Way to make codices as well. Yeah, that's the book. Um, you make a choir, Q-U-I-R-E, out of sheets, and then they write on a blank choir in the library. And then you take the choir, you take a written on choir and a book, by uh, a book, Binding, is that what they call it? Like the, the the front and the back, you can make it out of rock or wood or whatever, and then thread. Once you have all three of those things, you bind it into a book, and then the book ends up back in the library. Acquire once written can be turned into codex. Exactly, exactly. Um, which is kind of why I'm, I'm doing scrolls here is because they're simpler. I usually do books. Um, so if you do scroll, sheet, scroll roller. So I want to keep like, like 50 scrolls on hand, right? As long as we have, yeah, we're just gonna do these five at a time. Yeah, and then I think those are just gonna happen at like a, a craft shop. And then those scrolls will end up here and then they'll write on them and then they'll end up here. I think that's a simple way to do that. Did we satisfy our, our thing? No, probably not. Are these not good enough? No. They're not good enough. I thought we had a... What happened to our legendary engraver? I thought we had a legendary engraver, but I just told everyone to do it. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, Experts probably fine too, but we just made a whole bunch of... No quality... <laughs> Oops. Uh, how about we... That's a, that's a practice guild hall. Hilarious. Uh, we're making clay crafts at least. What are we not? 
cannot reach sight. Oh, they're just, they're figuring it out, it's fine. Planet. Doop, 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 doop. When I do my library, I'll probably do the same thing. Scrolls until our scholars are good enough writers to necessitate codices, yeah. I mean, there's and there's no strict requirement for codices, right? Functionally, scrolls and codices are the same. Um, it's kind of whatever you prefer, I think. So, like, even a codice isn't, like, real high value from, like, a, a numerical perspective. It's the it's the function of the of the scroll and or codice that that you care about, right? Okay, you're all just you're hanging out. You're hanging out. That's fine. Hey, look, rope reed scroll, perfect. So these, this is a rope reed scroll made from rope reed cloth. Roller made from granite. Rollers are made from coal up. Oh, it gets two two rollers. That makes sense, I guess. But now, now there's just blank scrolls in here. Very small number of blank scrolls. Okay. So now, now I want to see someone do the thing. Now I want to. Uh, we can even assign a scribe, right? Adequate reader. Mechanic? You could, yeah, adequate reader, right? Not? And then a scholar. Legendary observer. Or doctor, yeah. Get to, get to scholarin. Write down something smart. From a purely role play perspective, I would be doing that, yeah. Which is, like, you know, Indoor Fortress especially, a very appropriate reason to be doing anything. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think you're ever gonna run into switch a situation where you're like, oh, I need to be making books instead of codices, or instead of scrolls. No job, no job. Someone want to ponder in here? We already got, we already got five empty, five blank scrolls in here. I'm gonna say, like, make more copies of things. Okay, so that wasn't so bad. Did this not get, did you get, did I do the wrong das dot? That's a doom ed. <laughs> Was that a different ghost? I swear the thing said ghost. Grave. Das dot, right? Das dot. Please. And thank you. Uh, and then, yeah, here we got make scroll. Perfect. So it is just... It does seem to be just one roller. A dissertation on the intricacies of the Dwarven Spleen. <laughs> I mean... Spleens are important. Okay. So we'll make- we'll keep an eye on those levels, but I think that works. Because now in theory we have, like, we have a bunch of cloth, right? We have- we have a bunch of cloth. We have a bunch of thread. We have a bunch of thread. And we're gonna get a bunch of scrolls? I stretch. I guess what does an actual scroll count as? It's a scrolls are tools, okay. Well, the scroll rollers. Where's the scroll? Oh, they, they are also here. Okay, so we're up to seven scrolls. Perfect. Somebody's got to write about it. Exactly. Who who do you want write, write in the book about the dwarf spleen? Do you want it to be the doctor? Or do you want it to be the potter? Right? Because one of them's going to write the book. Drop off and accessible. Not sure what's failing there. Maybe bringing in this wood. 
Maybe the doctor can partner with a flowery poet to encourage reader retention, yeah. It's true, it seems like the people who know things and the people who can write good are different people. I just need to get some uh, some good scribes in here. What are you doing? You're just hanging out? There's a bunch of thread and cloth in here. I'm not making soap or anything. Are we out of dolomite again? Do I need more flux stone? Where are we doing that? That was up here. Yeah, okay. There's more. There's more. Making scrolls! Look at that! Okay. It's blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now let's <laughs> let's try smoothing this again. Oh my god. Can't believe I did that. I guess I did that before doing the temple. We'll call that two. Oh. Forgotten Beast has come, a towering humanoid composed of varicites. It has curling trunk and a gaunt appearance, but where's poisonous vapors? Okay, well, it's way down there. It's just a big dude. I don't know what varicite is, other than some sort of mineral. Huh. Aluminum man? Is that what that is? Varkasite? Varkasite. Oh, it's a gem. Low value green gem found in bauxite. Yeah, uh, I might be thinking of something else. Since they occur in bauxite along with rubies and sapphires, they occasionally overlap a cluster of these gems, which can prevent star rubies and star sapphires from appearing. Hilarious. Hydrated aluminum phosphate. Hmm. I'll, I'll trust you. <laughs> uh, I want to place this slab, right? We're here. Furniture slab. Fast up. Be restful. Okay. Anyone wanna anyone wanna write something? No job. No job. They're just hanging out. They're just hanging out in an empty library hoping someone does something. Okay, so now let's let's engrave. I'm gonna say lower priority, engrave all that too. Can even smooth our library. We could smooth everything for them, but. Put, put the rest. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And the other thing, like, so all of those jobs are just going to con cancel constantly every time we go through. Like, since we plant them and harvest them in batches, you're going to, like, go through your whole stock of paper unless you have, like, way too much crop. So now there's, like, every every season you're going to get a whole batch of cancellations. But you just kind of have to deal with that, I think. No. Whatever. Someone write something. Is the rooster going to write something? I'll just say you get... <clears throat> the farmer's guild gets both rooms. Sorry, but we'll call that first one a mulligan. No job, no job, no job. Where's all my visitors? Does someone want to come visit and, and write a book? I also bought a book, didn't I? Should that book, did that book end up in here? Some migrants, hooray. Uh, nope, we have, we have zero books. Uh, ooh, an alpaca. 
pressure. Animal caretaker. Razor. Oh, cool. Is library open to outsiders? It should be. They, sh I believe they are by default. I believe all the meeting areas are open to everyone by default. But it's worth checking. Yeah, all visitors welcome. I think we just haven't gotten the word out yet. We're also in kind of a strange place in our world, right? We're kind of out in the middle of... <laughs> we don't have a whole lot of neighbors here. Uh, so I don't know how many people we're going to actually attract. So many animals. Everyone's just bringing all their critters. Paper maker. Oh, hey, look. We attracted an accomplished paper maker. Professional bone carver. Adequate word burner. Haggard. Oh, dear. I wonder what they think. Legendary stone cutter. Stukas. Everyone keep an eye on Stukas. Is this... Is this Stukas? Raider of Matt Shash. Or remember the big door. That's one of our places. And the faithful ore. And the contingent seals. Has this door keep followed us around? Because the your your former member of the religion. That's interesting. Because faithful ore is face earths. I don't know orb of sun. I don't know where that one is. That's not one of our, our fortresses. Big Door is one of our recent fortresses. I want to say like Metro Percent 4 or 5 or something. I forget which one. Um, incinerated Sack. I don't know where that one is. Con and Contingent Seals is, is Elder Ring, right? Uh, Contingent Seals is Elder Ring. Faithful Ore is is Face Earths, and then and then we did something over here, right? This is which one was R? The big door, yeah. The big door is this one. That was our that was our 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 best attempt on stream. And then and then Hatchet Net and and the one up here. Ended up being with different civilizations by accident. Yeah, there's treasure rack. And then what was the other one? Red tomes. So tight citadel. So he hasn't been here. But this... This haggard person... It is... It's the same person. Stukas. Stukas, please. Stukas keeps following us around and just being the worst. This is like... This is a tantrumer. This is a legendary tantrumer. And he's back for more. We gotta keep an eye on Stukas. Oh, from an old fort? He's from like three old forts. The the Contingent Seals, the Big Door, and the Faithful Ore are all forts we did on stream. He's been in three of our forts. This is the fourth fort he's been to. <laughs> and he's been tantruming the whole time. I'm pretty sure. I wonder if these are in order. Because that would mean he was in Faithful Ore first. And then Contingent Seals when we returned to Elder Ring. And then went to the Past Iron. I don't know where Past Iron is. I don't know where Incinerated Sack or the Orb of Sun. I don't know those fortresses, but he's been hopping around. He's been to like six different sites in our civilization because he because because he's been because he's been in our civilization this whole time. He hasn't been hopping civilizations. He's just been hopping sites within our civilization. That's so funny. Maybe the fine mist of wire stilted will soothe his armory heart. I hope so. I mean, faithful or uh, base earth is where we developed that waterfall technique. So he's seen the waterfalls. At the very least, the big door. He should have been happy at the big door, at the very least. That's so funny. Stukas, if I change your name here... I 
wonder if that'll stick. If uh, if he shows up at a new fortress, like years from now, if that if that name will stick. <laughs> that isn't funny. And he's he has a legendary stone cutter. He's created a thing. I really hope so. Yeah, maybe we'll we'll meet him in um we'll we'll try to find him in uh, in adventure mode. We'll see what he has to say. That would be really funny. He's already 132. He has a, a spouse and a piglet. And they're both here. No one, no one kill a piglet. This man cannot handle anything else. <laughs> this man is one dead piglet away from murdering a fortress. <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. And he's just going to go straight into the, the library. Excellent. We'll keep an eye on Stukos. Ochre jungle. Yeah, I swear. I've, I've had the thought, like in... When we returned to Elder Ring, I had the thought, like... Oh, the Stukos here is a really good tantrum or two. It's weird that it's always a Stukos, but I was I assumed it was a different Stukos and it was just a coincidence. He has a major injury. Is that what it was? Is that what it was? There was someone. Maybe it's Stukos. There was someone. Yeah, he can't stand. There's um. Yeah, look at this back in 129, 50 freaking years ago. Um, lower spine. He has a spinal injury. He can't walk. I think that's what happened. Had lower spine set. There's, um... I think that's, I think that's his deal. I think that is what happened. Um, there are some kinds of injuries. I think lower spine, I think, is, is something that can do it. But there are some injuries where... They lose the ability to walk, but they don't end up getting crutches assigned to them for like for whatever reason. I think it's a bug. I don't know. I don't know the actual intri intricacies. Uh, we have we have crutches, right? I made a whole bunch of crutches. Crutches. We have crutches and they're just in a bin. There's yeah, Stukas can go grab a crutch if he wants to. But for whatever reason, he will never actually go and grab a crutch. I had an intellectual discussion with an acquaintance. It's interesting. Now he's praying. Did we satisfy our... Yeah, okay, we satisfied our guild hall agreement now that we had our legendary engraver take care of it. Oh my god. Okay, so yeah, Stukos is just... That's just Stukos. The legendary stone cutter. He, he, he was in the military. He was... He was a former militia dwarf at Face Earth. I want to say he got hit by a goblin. Or, you know, something. We got we got into quite a lot of trouble in Face Earth, but... Um, he was in our military. He was injured. Meditate on trickery. Uh, clearly. And then he's... Yeah, like he... He has no... He has no treatment scheduled. His fingers smashed apart. But it's been sutured. Artery torn has been sutured. Like, none of these are pending, right? All of this has been he healed. He's, he's received treatment for all of his injuries. Liver, liver tissue. And his knees. But I think, I think this spine injury, I think the spine injury, and then like it ribs too, my God. And a couple different times too. Uh, so you're in 129 and then 134. And then 135. I think I probably kept him in the military a little too long. Uh, so he's had at least three... Three injuries that have required serious medical attention. What's the lifespan on a dwarf? Like 170? That's probably around... 
I don't actually know. What is... How long can we expect Stukas to be around? Age? Might not be the right kind of age. Oh, creature age. Okay. Um... A sample list of age characteristics. Oh, here we go. So if you find a dwarf. Uh, adulthood at 18. Age of full size at 18. Minimum age of death, 150. Maximum age of death, 170. So they'll die of old age between 150 and 170. So he's got a good another 20 years in him. As long as he can, you know, stay away from the goblins. But also those injuries happened... 50 years ago. Amazing. So, it, like, he... He was injured when he was, like, a young adult. <laughs> but he's gonna have... He's gonna have this spine injury for the rest of his life. I talked to an acquaintance. I am not fond of this. You've made acquaintances, though. You've met four people since coming here. And like Haggard, I don't think we can fix Haggard. Even if we could fix his spine, I don't think he would become unhaggard. Which itself is kind of haggard. Like where like what does his mood read as? Like he's he's fine, right? Or like one less than fine, whatever that is. Like he's not he's not this angry person. Which is dad hand for some reason. But he, he will always be haggard. And I think if you're haggard, then you're always just going to be, like, boned a tantrum. You've got to be, like, the equivalent of, like, a 65-year-old man in human years. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a little less than half would be the, would be the conversion. Yeah. In life, you should work hard, then work harder. Stukas, you can take it easy. For real. I'm totally okay with you taking it easy. Re Someone... I'm gonna have to write that down. When we get to adventure mode, we're gonna find Stukas. That's, that's a mission. Do we have anything in here? We have writing materials. We have nothing written, though. Okay. How about everyone become a scholar? Legendary mechanic. Oh, but you're... You were our scribe. Okay. Well, then how about... How about our fisher? saving okay let me write it in the discord yeah yeah remind me i would like to come back and visit like all the all the fortresses that we've done on stream but i want to i want to find that door in particular i want to ask him questions are you okay stugas can i provide some therapy to stugas or just give him a crutch I wonder if he would use a crutch if he was given one, and he just can't, like, the, the game just doesn't want to give him one. Oh, let's call that good. I want to see, I want to see it happen. No job, no job, no job, no job. Someone. We just didn't get any salt collars. Oh well. Okay, well I mean we got this working. I mean we got we got a fortress here, right? We got we we showed up with nothing. Um I wonder if you could draft him and put him in a uniform. I I mean you can, but I don't think you might not be able to equip certain things. 
but also he would just suck in combat. Like, I don't think you can assign a crutch as part of a uniform. Like, that's not one of the slots. And the crutches, I don't think you can assign a crutch. I think you can assign armor and weapons. What if we, here, uh, nope, a clip. Uh, and then if I just go into like this person, body wear, head wear, leg wear, weapon. Unless it counts as a weapon. But I don't think it does. I don't think you're gonna assign anything that doesn't show up in these menus. Specific weapon. It's a specific crutch. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't. Yeah, you, you just can't. The game. The game has some sort of internal logic for this dwarf suffered this injury. Therefore, they need a crutch. And if they suffer an injury that does not get a crutch, then they just won't get a crutch. And I, I think that's what happened. I mean, don't don't quote me on it, but I feel so good. But I want to say that that's how that works. Because I, I remember reading about that glitch like a while back. Um, what if I let's look up crutch? In fortress mode, patients who have lost the use of their legs due to short-term injuries or permanent motor nerve damage and amputation will trigger hospital staff to assign the crutches as part of treatment. However, doors with spinal nerve injuries will not acquire and use crutches. Yeah, it just says it right there. Not even in the bug section, it's up in the top section. Crutches are made out of wood log at Carpenter's Workshop or three metal bars at a forge. Jeez, do you want a platinum crutch? Uh, crutches are stored in finished goods. Dwarfs hold crutches like any other objects and may use them in self-defense. Metal crutches allow for noticeably heavier strikes in this regard, but otherwise are just extra weight compared to wooden crutches. Hilarious. Yeah. It's, uh, spinal nerve injuries in particular. So I think that's what happened to Stukas. He has a spinal nerve injury. He's probably, like, he's paralyzed from the waist down but the game doesn't know to assign him a crutch. So he's he's crawling everywhere, realistically. And he's upset about it, rightly so, because I can't, I can't fix it. In adventure mode, crutches can be used to walk when one or both legs are disabled. The associated skill as above is crutch walking and can be trained to increase movement speed while using a crutch. It is possible to train, cr train crutch walking without having an injury, However, any adventurer carrying a crutch in their hand will have a movement penalty of using a crutch while applied. That's fair. Crutch walking is only applied to walking gates, so the skill cannot be used when swimming, climbing, or crawling. What, what do you mean? <laughs> it is possible to sneak while using crutches. Crutches can be used to attack with the misc object skill, even when needing to sneak or standing support. I appreciate that. That's realistic, right? Dwarven medical technology just isn't there yet. I know, right? Oh, we gotta, we gotta carry in. Someone needs to write a book about nerve damage so that they can be like, oh, Stukos needs a crutch. Duh. And Stukos is like down on the ground being like, yeah, I've been saying this for years. Literally half my life. I've just been crawling around the ground. <laughs> this person has not just crawling around the ground in the fortress. He has traveled to like seven different fortresses by crawling. <laughs> Someone please give Stukas a hand. You can even make a crutch in adventure mode, that's amazing. It's just Dugas that doesn't get one. It's just Dugas. Daylight and seasons, empirical observation. I mean, if he could be, can he be a, a scholar? Maybe he should be our scholar. Since he's not, since he's not going anywhere fast. Scholar. What does he know? Does he know anything? Stukas. 
Uh, yeah, Ad adequate observer, dabbling mechanic. Yeah. Let, be a be a scholar. Tell us what you know, Stikos. Ponder the lever. Yeah, okay. Now the scholars are actually doing stuff. Read Distillation and Glory. Oh, we have a book. Do we have a book? We have two books. Whatever, yes, yes, yes. We won't get that far, whatever, yes. Um, can I, yeah, written content. We have two books. To Distillation and Glory, we were just talking about distillation, so that's hilarious. Uh, manual entitled To Distillation and Glory. It concerns the theory of and methods involved in distillation. Writing could have been produced by a merciful spirit. Writing could only have been produced by a merciful spirit. I haven't seen that descriptor before. Overall, the prose is not awful, but not very good either. And then what's our other one? The nuanced beauty. Concerns the nature of beauty. The writing is artfully... The writing artfully flashes through seemingly disjointed topics. Overall, the prose is passable. Okay. Okay. So we, we made a library. The library's working. There you go. That's how it works. Um, hopefully Stukas is able to contribute to our uh, academic body of knowledge and not annihilate the rest of the fortress. I wish him luck. Um, but I think we're going to wrap up. I think that's going to be... I think that's going to be about it for today. Um, a decent place to stop, right? We got we got two books. Two books! Or scrolls, even. They're not actually technically books. They're, they're just scrolls. But they're written on... They are written content, and that's all that matters. Um, anyway... Um, I do think I'm going to, uh, we're, we're going to check out a new game next week. Uh, I think I want to check out the Beaver game. Um, so come by on Thursday. We're going to, we're going to check out Timberborn, uh, and it's going to be fresh to me. So that'll be fun in the capital F way, I think. Um, come by on Monday and we're going to keep going on our mask. That'll be fun in the, in the normal way. Come by on Saturday. I'm also going to play a new game. Um, yeah, because we finished Chance of Sanar. Um, I'm going to try a, a new game that I was intrigued by on Steam called, uh, I'm probably going to pronounce it wrong, called Jusant. Jusant or something like that. Um, but it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be chill. It's going to be a chill exploration action adventure puzzle game. So that'll be fun too. Um, yeah. Uh, the, today's episode brought to you by Anvils, the things that we have now. Amazing. Uh, and by you, clicking all those buttons down there, hanging out and, and chilling and, and keeping me company. Uh, all those things are great. That's, we're not doing, I'm not taking sponsorship money or, or advertiser money or anything like that. We're just, we're hanging out, right? We're, we're, I'm, I'm, we're building community. We're not, I don't care about, I'm not going to sell you a watch. I just want to hang out. Damn it. <laughs> um, so that's what we're doing. Uh, and I hope to see you around. And I hope you stay kind.